Rocky Mountain Revival Radio presents Ministry Moments. What's up, friends? I'm moving from one house to another right now, me and my family are. And I found something pretty interesting. So, it's been over a year that we've been back. We moved to Panama. The Lord sent us down there for a little while. And uh, there were some beautiful things that happened, some very extremely hard things that happened. But one thing I did, I brought back, I uh, went to some hot springs one day, and oh, and that cooler right there uh, just happens to hold some dirt, okay? Some dirt, some dirty stuff. Uh, but what's in it? I got it at these hot springs. Let's, let's find out here. Okay, so I was just sitting there with some friends, and we noticed some some shiny flakes. And I don't even know if you can see it down in here, but let's see if we can get this on video, get the sun. There's some shiny flakes in there. It's actually gold ore that the water washed out. It's really hard to see, but the water washed it out. And here I am over a year later, contemplating all the things that the Lord brought us through. All the trials, all the uh, lessons, times of fellowship, times of worship, all the beautiful things just going on with my life. And I realized I haven't, I haven't dug through that to get the gold out because it's going to take some work. And I felt like the Holy Spirit was telling me that's just like the hard things that we went through there. And the things that some things we don't even understand and lessons that I believe are going to be unfolding for a long time. So I'm sharing with you guys the hard situations in your life, the things that the Lord brings you through that you don't understand. The, the longer I live, and I'm 45 years old now, the longer I live, the more I realize that our God who is love brings us through things to show his strength perfect and our weakness. But there's gold from these things. There's gold. There are nuggets of wisdom that could not be learned any other way. And so now it's been over a year since we've been back. Went down there, lived there for about a year, came back, been back here in the US and Colorado for about a year. And there are lessons that are being learned. There's spiritual lessons, things to overcome, uh, spiritual forces in the earth, uh, witchcraft down in Central America and different real spiritual adversaries that that we can and have overcome through the accomplished work of Jesus Christ, through his name, through his blood, through our testimony. And these things are gold, but we have to dig through the dirt. We have to sift through it sometimes. We have to meditate. And sometimes those lessons only, only come through these hard situations like Joseph's life. He was in prison. He was falsely accused. He was thrown in a pit. All, all types and shadows of Jesus Christ um, being given up for dead, but being raised back, being pulled out of the pit and resurrected back to life. Uh, just beautiful things. Anyway, I'll keep it short. But I'm praying that God would give you the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and revelation for the trials that he's brought you through and that he would show you his faithfulness, that he would show you how he's with you and the things that maybe you don't understand, the people around you who have suffered in ways that you don't feel are just. God is good and he has answers for those questions, but he is good. I pray that you would reach out to him, that you would allow him to search those places in your hearts and dismantle the lies of the enemy that would come and say that God doesn't love you, that God's abandoned you, that God's... Uh, not of the character that he truly is. We have a good heavenly father and every good and perfect gift comes down from the father of heavenly lights. So let him love you. He's not far from you. If you seek him, you'll find him when you seek him with all your heart. He's good. He loves you. Amen. God bless you guys. This has been a Rocky Mount Revival Radio Ministry Moment.